Hi everyone! Today I want to talk to you about something strange yet simple. How I made all my wishes come true. Not from magic or fate, but from the quiet pages of my diary. I always had a thing for notebooks, planners and anything paper related, to be honest. There is just something about the act of writing things down that really resonates with me. I've already made the video before about how I filled out my monthly diary and usually I get hooked on similar videos myself so I figured it was the time to share my own process all set to the gentle sound of turning pages My diary has become more than just a reminder of appointments or deadlines it's become a tool for setting and achieving my goals. How does it work? Well, today I'm going to show you how I write my lists and actually make things happen. For me, this is how I usually kick off the new year in September. And yes, this is the habit definitely stems from my school days. I always start the new diary by writing down my goals, big ones. And as my diary fills up, I used to break down those big, seemingly impossible goals to make them real. Things like moving to a new country, preparing for a language exam, or reading 100 books. It all goes to this list. And I make it happen. You got the idea? The key is setting the right goals. So let's dive into it. And talking about the notebook that I've chose, it's Papirnicheni brand. This is a Polish brand of my diary for this year. And mainly I've chosen it because I love their minimalistic vertical weekly layout. It is simple and works for me. They have only two options, one starting in January and the undated one. I went with the second option because I like the flexibility of filling it by my hand. There are lots of other options too on the market from brands like Moleskine, Leuchtturm or Traveler, so you for sure will find your perfect fit. And step one. I need to say here my background story. For as long as I can remember, I've always had some kind of notebook on me. I'd filled out the first 10 pages and then abandoned it. But that didn't stop me from always carrying one. Over the past five years, through, I noticed I moved from just writing in my diary to actually reading back through them. Reflecting kinda on what I've written, it becomes more of a habit to use the first few pages for simple wish lists. The exact words doesn't matter. It is the system that counts. So let's get into that. Step 2. Setting the goal. Here is an example for most people can relate to learning the language. I once heard this example from blogger Polina Brzezinska. She talked about this in her blog. So I will use this example because it perfectly illustrates the process of setting the goal. Let's say you've set a goal to learn English. The ideal goal might be by the end of the year I want to be able to confidently hold a conversation, read a handful of books in English and send the business emails without making an embarrassing mistake. Now comes to the fun part for me. There are 365 days in a year. Sometimes we get an extra day. To make the progress, two things the key. First, you actually need to want to achieve this goal. Why force yourself to do something that you hate? And the second, I'm really sorry to bring it to you, but you need to have a regular practice. So let's say you can commit an hour a day to do this goal. By the end of the year, it's 365 hours of English. That's not bad. Let's break it down. Maybe it's 50 hours of reading at 5 hours per book. Watching friends visit 20 minutes episodes that three episodes an hour. Or consuming content like TED Talks, YouTube videos, fan fiction, wherever works for you. 
So, step three, creating a plan. Once you have a roof of idea, the time you can dedicate, break it down into manageable steps. For me, there is where my diary comes in. I map out my weekly and daily goals, so each morning I already knew what I need to do. No need to sit there and wondering how to get started. Of course, laziness can creep in, but I've made the rule that hitting 70% of tasks is still a success. The key is to get started, even if it's not perfect. But honestly, the most important thing is to enjoy the process. By breaking down each goal into smaller, manageable steps, I find it much easier to stay on track. Working on something over a course of a year is easier because you can roughly predict how much time you will have to dedicate to it. Most of us either study or working, so we have a sense of our schedule in advance and can plan accordingly. For me, this isn't about some mythical idea of success or productivity in everything. I just simply love the feeling of seeing my dreams come true. Who wouldn't? It's a rhetorical question. Plus, having a beautifully organized diary in my bag definitely helps me with motivation. So, if you found any of this helpful, let me know in the comments below. I really hope my experience helps you and I genuinely want to see your own wishes come true. That's it from me for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Now I've got to come with an idea for the next video, charge the camera and find the perfect lighting to shoot it. Yeah, you see? This is the process. Thank you again everyone. Catch you in the next video. Bye!